a psychologist, but you know, I'm an expert on observation. So I'm gonna just say what I think here. And and over over these years, I just think she she has an issue with men. And my whole thing with her and and even her husband to a certain extent, the the Clinton machine as I call it, they don't like law enforcement and they don't really like the military. I'm sorry. I, I, and I have, you know, um, opinions and stories of why I believe that, but they just don't seem to like them. And uh, they'll say, uh, obviously they say that, you know, how much they support the military, but let's look at the incidents that have happened, and they weren't supporting them. And the same with law enforcement. Um, so, And by the way, there was a distinct difference. You described the time that you had in the White House with the Bushes, and they were lovely people. And, but you're, they not, are. you're not speaking politically here. I don't even know. No. Um, I mean, you don't want her to be elected president, so I assume that means you're going to vote for, for Donald Trump. But. You, well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk about who I'm going to vote for yet. But, uh, right. but the Bushes were nice people, they were, genuinely nice they were, people. Uh, uh, they and were. And respected the officers and agents and, and the hard work. Sense of humor, great, kind people. And, the, you know, in hindsight, when I think about it now, Sean, it kind of set me up for a huge shock when we changed administrations and the Clintons end up being the way they are. And it's because the Bushes were like that family. Did Bill ever come out of the Oval Office like, guys, I'm really sorry. You know, I'm, I'm sorry you had to hear that. And... N no, no. But, but one time uh, along those lines, Sean, um, he, was, um, he was in a meeting. The president was in a meeting in the Roosevelt Room, and he was crossing back over to the Oval Office. And whatever they were discussing in the meeting was pretty hot and contentious, and, and uh, he was upset about something. And as he walked out, he was berating somebody about getting something done. And clearly, you know, you could tell that well, somebody dropped the ball or whatever. Right. As he was walking back in the Oval Office, he started screaming at this, or raising his voice at this one, uh, this um, man, this woman whose job it was to do whatever it was. So um, as he's yelling at them he walked right by me and the agent posted there and the door was already open for him and as he walks in he turns around and they said something to him and he turned around and screamed at me closed that you know effing door mm. and um and i just kind of looked at him i looked at the agent we kind of smirked at each other and, and i stepped in and grabbed the door and i pulled it shut so um a little while later he comes out into the um steward's little kitchen area to get himself a soda Right. And I walked back just because I heard a noise that the outer door was open. I walked back to check, and it was him. And uh, he looked over. He said, "How you doing today, young man? How's it going?" I said, "Good, sir. How are you?" You know, and he didn't apologize, but he broke the it was ice. his way of saying, "Yeah, I, that's I, the way I interpreted it." And, and he was very friendly, and he was very nice. And once in a while, he would ask you a personal question, you know, your right. family, that kind of thing. It was, it was not right. always horrendous. We got more time when we come back. We still have uh, another half.